Oh, dude, holy... Dude, that guy's tiny. Toiny. Anyways, so yes. Back with more Xenoblade. Where are we staying again? Uh... <laughs> Alright. And we've made it to the tent. Ah, there you are. Sorry, you are... I'm Sullen. Procurement Division, Colony 4. I got orders from Commander to set you up with a tent you can use during your stay here. So, make yourself at home. Thanks a lot. The Commander told me something else as well. That you guys helped out everyone here at the Colony, and we owe you a lot. I'm afraid I won't have time to attend to you personally, but if there's anything you need while you're here, just let us know, okay? Well, I'll leave you to it. Dang, what a nice guy. What a reception. Solon seems like a nice person. Maybe we should go in and rest. Cool. Ugh, I think I'd like to take a bath first, actually. Hey, you need love. If you're headed to the bath... Ew, you called me love? That makes me feel weird. It, made me, it makes me feel all tingly inside. Let's just stick with plain old uni, okay? The console we fought back there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are gonna have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. They're the same? Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consuls giving the orders are the same, it means... They're in cahoots. Hmm. Come on. Just spit it out, man. <laughs> Not a fan of the dramatic. Big deal. I thought they were everywhere, like your run-of-the-mill Nopon. Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. Got that right? Nopon are rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving Nopon out of this... What's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. I suspect they may be more deeply involved than we thought. Involved how, though? With what? With the reason why we fight. With deciding our fate. Our fate? And the Queens? You think they're in cahoots? What can you tell us about your Queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. Right? Yeah. At the homecoming, I think. She had long, silver hair. Yep, real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni. Sort of, but they were much more of a shining white. Well, as for our queen, she was really elegant. Refined and graceful. And her ears, they were super long. Up to here! Hmm... Guess that means our queens are different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Different queens, Their role same consuls. Is to convey the queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision making. So what? If we explain the deal to the queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? Pretty much. I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Oh yeah. The queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? Probably not. I'm saying they might be the same as the consul, <gasps> our enemy. What? Also, somehow that consul, he became Mobius. Or maybe Mobius is the consul's. The situation's already dire enough. It'll be best to temper our expectations. <sighs> mm -hmm. 
that so? Colony 4. Henceforth, all orders are rescinded. Eliminate Ouroboros at all cost. Make this known throughout the colonies. Ooh, this is, must be the Agnes ones. Ouroboros has no place in this world. Their existence must be erased without a trace. Oh, look at that. She's a blade eater. Sounds like someone I know. Yes, I will. I will save the game. Uh, not there. Yes. It's good to keep a record. Mm-hmm. Nope. We've endured the fierce fighting at Colony 4. And learned that the Consuls and Mobius are one and the same. Mm-hmm. Truths we took for granted continue to crumble at our feet. We have spent so long blindly walking the path set before us without question. But we are more curious now of our future selves, of our purpose. So split into three units, our main troops go wide and first to make contact with Draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Huh? I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know, my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon. Let go. He looks like the guy from um, Colony Thirteen. Complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. No. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around. What does? Look, Tyke boy. It's Tyon, but okay. I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Isard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> what we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big! Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force can strike en masse, where the flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Is that right, Tyon? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Correct. <sighs> All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. Yes, Ezerd? Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust you. Happy, Tyon? Yes. Commander, strategist. It's almost time. The new console should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. Nimue, why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock. And unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Huh? Uh, uh, right. Shadows Ugh, over here. Over here. Oh. 
Oh man, this is kind of brutal. Oh shoot, this is like the opening from uh, Batman. The one with Roberto Patrisonoro. There should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. Begging your pardon, that's idiocy and certain death. Mm hmm. Tie on. You can't! Please, you're in the cover of Xenoblade 3. Future. Until the day of your homecoming, please just live. And here. Take this pile of shit. I've saved it just for you. I I couldn't. I won't. Don't do this, ma'am. Listen, I need you to live, Tyon. You must. Flee for the colony. Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How? How can I? Tyon! Shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog. It's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why Kay lost. Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. And for all that, you still flunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids, right until I had to scarf her. Excuses a ten a penny. Oh, she looks like Medusa here. What are you implying? Excuse me? Is this a private party, or can I interject? I was thinking I might head out alone next. Is that allowed? You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard and Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. Oh, this guy's got like a bull helmet going on. Medusa, and what, what's that guy? A trident? Well, that guy's an owl. I have no idea what the guy on the left is. This guy's a jester. Goodest of mornings. Morning, Manana, Unana. Okay, everyone's here. We got word from Ethel a little while ago. There is something she wants to tell us, and we could go to the council room to hear it. Very well. We should say thanks for the t uh, for the tent at least. I was about to say tenant. Okay, let's go see what Ethel has to say then. Alrighty, yo, dude, look at the side quests that we can do. Okay, I'm gonna do that in a separate video. M maybe next vid, I'll, I'll probably just work through the side quests because, yeah, doing the side quests are pretty worth in this game. Quick to accept things. There. That guy's tall. You lost sleep, all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher ups. My iris is clock. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside, hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. 
It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Well, snuff happens. Kamaravi. Heard of him? Yeah. Call him the Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. Dude, that straight up looks like a Gundam. They love to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Well, most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. C commander! Uh, apologies, Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. Not even copper. But look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put into words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well, all of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. <sighs> all right now, let's put a pin in the philosophizing. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. Who? Ah, fuck. <laughs> I remember this part of the game. Want to know why I remember this part of the game? Because uh, you can't walk far or else they're going to stand there. So you need to, like, be really close to them. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I kind of forgot where we went, though. Uh, my guess is inside here. And maybe activate something? Whoops, hold on. Please! Okay. This right here is Sword March. Well... That part is common knowledge, I suppose. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly the northern and the southern. Mm -hmm. And then the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Such a tease. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, 
I wouldn't advise going north. Why is that? The road's dangerous, and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. Tyan, turns out you were right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Uh, we don't have two, two months. months. <sighs> but... Oh. But? There's more? Even if you more but? the sword, this city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony. Oh wait, they don't know what uh, the word city means? I was pretty sure it was an object. Oh. Will you still go there? Oh, that's interesting actually. I did not I did not catch that. That was the idea. For a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? Our guests will be leaving soon. Let's yeah. give them any assistance we can. No worries. Why are you shouting? <laughs> free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Get ready for what's ahead. Oh, I'm getting looks. Uh, Mimi. You can feel it too. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. Is that is a lie. I'm short and I'm, and I'm fat. Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Aww. Hey. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it, till last year. <gasps> yes, he died, fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong! We're actually from Colony Gamp- Mimi, what? If that's what you want, go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. A what? You're nearly done anyway. Well then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months time, not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. Thanks for the warning, bud. What a jerk. So uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have, we'd be goners. Mm -hmm. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. But not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends, even if we're misunderstood. Huh? On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rank, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that.
So, like, what, no one else gets burritos? That is kind of unfair, isn't it? Okay, so now what? I believe the southward route is certainly blocked by rockfall. I would estimate that clearing it would take some time. I guess we'll have to wait till it's done. Uh, guys, can I see something? Sounds heavy. I've been thinking, and I think there might be something else that we could try. You mean about Colony 4? It's hardly your responsibility. Tyon, it's not quite like that. I mean, if I see someone in trouble, I just want to help them. Maybe it's not a sense of responsibility exactly, it's more like a natural reaction. Oh, you feel that even for a former, I mean, eh, for a former enemy. That's a tongue twister. That's how I feel about it, right now, at least. Mimi, your heart's big enough for everyone to have a slice. Okay, well, no time like a present. Let's do something to help. Yeah, why not? Ethel, help, Ethel helped us out way back, after all. Now we've got a chance to give something back, right? I suppose it'll help us earn their trust and kill a bit of time, maybe. I, I think Mimi's right. Guys, thanks. Right, well, that was heartwarming, to be sure, but what are we gonna do, exactly? Lance, you need to expend your mental energy on it yourself instead of blurting questions. I get this may be tricky for you. Boy, watch it, bud. <laughs> well, if we're going to do that, perhaps a little intelligence gathering is in order. Yeah, I guess we gotta... It's one thing to want to lend a hand, another to know where to stick it. I guess we'd better ask then, around the colony. Hmm. Uh, still feeling weird about this? No, it's just... What, worried about helping the bad guys? It's a bit late for that, love. Anyway, if anyone tries to steer the pot again, we've, we'll just put we'll just punt them under a love in this, right? And by we, I mean Lance, obviously. I like to call Xane on the punting if it's not too much bother. I'm afraid it would get quite messy. Come on, it was a figure of speech, mate. Okay then, everyone get to start. Ask everyone around the colony to find out how we can help. Alright. Yeah. Helping out. The helping out side quest. Right, alright. Well, I mean, this is not too important, so I'm just gonna... I'll just, I'll just King Crimson my way out of this. So, uh, yeah. King of Crimson! Okay, so we're here. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. That last bit wasn't too important. Uh, basically, you just go around and then you just overhear some like, "Oh, hey, I need this and that," but blah 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 is doing da da da. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, um, we are just gonna go and. Uh... Oh wait, do we get? <sighs> I thought we got. Uh, I thought we got gold, no pawn coins. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, well, I, I just wanted to skip to skip all that because that was just uh, a bunch of tutorial that. That's mostly for me and not for viewing pleasure, so... Ooh. Oh, we're level 16? You know what? Yeah, it's been a while since we fought something. Hold on. You know, I... It was mostly cutscene and story, and, uh... I'm just trying to... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get my, my fill in. Okay, here we go. Ooh, break? I don't have anything on me, so... It is gonna be... Yeah, I'm gonna be a touch bit useless. Uh, ooh, we, we could try going for the uh, intralink thing. Okay, well... Uh-huh. Okay, ooh, appreciate uni. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're gonna... Hold on. Let's do this one. Mm-hmm. Overclock Buster, man, should have waited. Oh, nice break, okay. And then I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't get my thing. Ooh, launch? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're getting close to my, uh, to my thing. Then bop bop, and then uh huh. Okay, well I have enough. It's, it's gonna we're, we're gonna 
we're, we're gonna refill our thing before uh actually yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it one more time and then we should be able to do the thing okay Ooh, nice I just want to get my bonus EXP. Sword. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. All right, I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna join you guys real quick. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna just stay in the shade where it's nice and cool. Okay. Mhm. Okay. Oh, okay. We we hit the the halfway point. All right. Ooh. Dang, okay, we're good. All right. Appreciate the heal, guys. Sword. Nice. Topple. Okay. Nice. Okay. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna use my thing later. Ooh, I did not get my thing. I didn't get my evasion thing ready. Yeah, the one thing with the uh, so with Xeno too, it was actually like super easy to like uh, tell if someone's gonna use an, uh, their their arts. They're like an enemy, an enemy. So like you could uh, react and just um, uh, use one of your moves that you've been saving up, like an uh, like an invasion skill. Uh, this one, I'm not quite sure if it's like maybe the same, and I'm just like looking around too much. But it, it's kind of difficult for me. I remember being a bit more uh, consistent with uh, landing my, my 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 stuff. Sword. Oh, dude, I'm gonna die. Yo, you guys got any heals by any chance, or like? Oh, or, oh thank you. Thank you. Oh, miss. I'm dead. Okay. Well, I just, oh, it resets? Okay, well, I'm gonna activate my thing real quick, so... Okay, and then... Mm -hmm, and then bop, 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 bop. Slip, bop. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, 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 hold on. This is perfect time, perfect time, perfect timing. Yes, sir. Chain attack. Okay. Okay, we're, we're gonna finish this off with the chain attack. Uh, what I'm gonna do is... Let's go with, uh... Hmm... Okay... You know what? Let's go with this one. Okay, and then we're gonna go with, uh... Wait, wait, can we go for a break? Oh, we can't. Oh, that's fine. Well, actually, I kind of want to get, get the uh, the first blood bonus. And then times 125. And then uh, let's go with, uh, with, 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 her, maybe? I don't know. Should I? Uh... You know what, for now, I, I, I just want to, uh, I just want to get 100%, just so that we could be all set and good. Okay, and then we're gonna go with, uh, go with lands. <sighs> Overkill. Okay, almost 30. Alright, yeah, 100%. I just want to save my guys, so that when we get 4, um, we will be fine. Okay, perfect. Okay, oh man. Uh, I guess we'll do this one instead. Okay, for blue. Uh, we're gonna get the, the first split bonus again. And then we're gonna go with, uh, mm -hmm. We're going with, uh, Senna. Mm-hmm. We shouldn't go above it. Perfect. Okay, we'll go with, uh, Oh, we got the sleep. All right, prepare to get yourself a rude awakening. That's rude awakening. Oh, okay, perfect. Tyrant wave. Nice. Bravo. Uh, 
this is kind of bad. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? Let's go with um, with uh, Mio so that we could get the um, like the, the bonus for blue. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll reach 100% for sure. But are we reaching 150 though? No, we are not. 120 though, that's a nice number. Lightning quick. Nice. Oh, class acquired. Damn, that was good. Mm hmm. And that's why you focus on uh, uh, overkill or no, over, yeah, overkill uh, stuff. Because man, you, you get EXP like crazy. Oh, sick. Okay, yeah, we unlocked legit every single character. Well, class for, for everyone. But yeah, pretty good stuff. Man, I should I should do that more often. Uh, fight, fighting like super bosses, I consider that I consider that as a super boss because, well, not not really a boss per se. It's more so just a beefed up uh, a character, or sorry, a uh, monster. Also, do you mind not targeting me? Okay. Oh, okay, we're here. Ethel. <gasps> hey, buddy. Ethel. How's it going? Oh. It's you. What are you doing here? Doing That's drugs. What I was. Wait, look over there. Over where? Oh, over there. Oh. Nice. Hold on. <clears throat> I gotta do this real quick. Whoa, that that thing over there, cr crazy. Whoa. Was that a supply drop? Yes, yes. ma'am. Sent from Agnes. How can you tell? We got word that an advanced troop from Agnes had been seen in the area. And if they're in the middle of enemy territory, it has to be due to some kind of operation. The supply drop must be timed for the arrival of a main force. Funnily enough, it's that supply drop we're after. Mm -hmm. Did you know about the Agnian troops, Tyon? I've known about the presence of Agnian forces in this region for a while. Oh shit. I could never verified <laughs> that supplies were being dropped, but I won't say I didn't suspect. Oh yeah? Wow. Looks like I can verify it now. From the way that you're talking, it sounds as though you're after supplies too. Well, medical yes, supplies specifically. We thought Colony 4 might need them. Mm-hmm. That is the part I that I skipped over. Then it looks as though we happen to have the same goal. Mm-hmm. Boliaris was looking for you. You didn't actually come alone, did you? Oh. I actually did. Your understanding of the situation is correct. And I can't risk any more casualties. So you thought you'd go and take care of this yourself, huh? In that case, we... I said I couldn't afford any more casualties, and that includes you. I appreciate that you're willing, but Colony 4 is my responsibility. We want to work with you, Ethel. Be that as it may. We've already made our minds up. That's why we're here. You might end up having to cross swords with people from your own country. We've already done that. <sighs> oh, whoops. Talking about avoiding casualties. You know that includes you too, Ethel, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Smarts. Hmm? I yield. I can't very well refuse you now. Don't worry, Ethel. We're not who we used to be. Yeah, we won't drag you down. Then if we're agreed, let's hurry and pick up those supplies. Apologies. And thank you all. Alright, Ethel has joined the party. Temporarily. Kinda wish she was more permanent. Head for the smoke rising from the container. That's our draw. Oh then. So okay. Let's go pick it up before someone else does. Alright, so for uh like, can we survive this? We can't survive this. We can survive this though. Oh, oh we can't survive this one! We can survive this. Never say never guys. That was just a test. A test of courage. Uh right. What was I saying again? So it kinda sucks how um 
uh, how we can't control the, the hero characters because Ethel looks so cool. It would be pretty nice, but I mean, it makes sense. Huh. We are focused on the core six pro tags. And just having like... Okay, it'd be rude of me if I could just call them like side characters. <laughs> but having a non... Uh, main cast be playable uh, I think it would uh, would sort of take take away it's very reassuring I don't know with us, Ethel. at least that that, that 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 is my my theory or at least that is my feelings I feel very okay I, I remember this so I tried going over the wall um, I died mo mo multiple well, times uh, but there should be a seek a secret passage over here please I don't want to fight I choose pacifism not because I want to, but because, you know, I'm fucking run out, r running out of time here, man. Alright, here it is, here it is. We found the secret passage. We just go over here. Uh-huh. Oh, fuck. Oh, pain! Damn, that was pretty accurate. Holy! That thing has tracking! Bro! Dude, are you kidding me? I don't have time, please. How is your ring? Okay, thank you. Dang, dude, that guy had cell service for days. Hey, something's not right. What? What do we do? <gasps> no time to daydream. We have to hurry. <laughs> Ethel, you're right, Noah. We have no time to waste. Let's route those nuisances. Ethel's so fucking badass. It's great. Oh, they just dip. <laughs> All right, here it is. All right. So, oh, I, no, 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 no. I thought I thought I messed up, but I didn't. So, uh, when you do chain attacks and you have a uh, uh, an, an extra hero on your uh, on your um, on your uh, a roster. You can actually use them during the chain attacks, which is so sick. Oh, also, many thanks, uh, either Uni or, or Noah. Sorry, no, not Noah. Tyon. I, I keep getting the two mixed up. And I think it's because... Oh, nice sleep. Okay. Yeah, sorry, this is a bit of a cluster, isn't it? There's a lot of lines going on. There's a circle that's out of nowhere. Ooh. All right, we're good. Uh, aggro? Mm-hmm. Alright, we just... Wait, do we have... Three tanks? <laughs> I think we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that is fine. You know what? Triple tank meta is the way to go. Uh, okay, we have enough time to go into this thing, right? Okay, yeah, we do. Alright, I just wanna wait. I don't wanna... There, there, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, chain attack, Tim show up. Ooh, that looks, that looks good. Okay. So as you can see, we have Ethel now. Uh, what we are going to do is... Hmm... Okay, let's go with Art of Subjugation. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go with uh, Ethel. So Art of Subjugation, I'm gonna use... And you know, by the way, this is not a tutorial or anything. I... I'm just gonna try to think this through. Uh, okay, well, yeah. We, since we have no like attackers, we, uh, we can't get the first blood bonus. That would be pretty useful. But you know, just just deal with the hands you you've been given. Okay. And then we're going with this one. Mhm. Mm okay. Well, what, what's Ethel's uh, ability? Hold on. Well, the play is when first line, first in line to oh rip. Okay, I I think that would have been pretty useful. Uh, okay, never mind. That. Never never mind. Oh yeah, we're not gonna get 150. Okay. okay. So we're we're gonna go with her first, and then we're going to um, cause cause like uh that like she's like a like a good starter then right in, in that case. Oh, this is so freaking bad. Actually, no, it's not. It's not bad. For, no, no, it, no, it, it's bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah, cause like, this doesn't work. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't work, man. Because if you go for the, if you go healers last or supports last, uh, it'll just be 99 regardless. Even if you go, if it's like 99, then you go healer again. 
it'll be 99 again. So, yeah, it's, it's not gonna work. But holy, she does pretty. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, could have been 150. Wintry end. Dude, her class is sick. Cool, reactivation. Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> Order. Okay. Damn, that would have been pretty useful in round one. Phew. Glad that's over. Yeah, just one thing left. Well, that's two things. Ethel. Huh. What? Take your wounded and get out. Huh. Leave now. Did I do the right thing just now? As a Kvesi commander? There was never a reason for any of us to fight in the first place. As a Kvesi commander? Right thing, no. In my opinion. But as a human being and a waifu? Yeah. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Some situations aren't salvageable. That's the nature of war. It's beyond anyone's control. Ethel? I'm sorry. <laughs> what a tedious thing to talk about. We'll recover the supplies and head back to Colony 4. I'm afraid I'll need you all a while longer. Nice. Okay, let me grab the loot real quick. I'll need a hand here. Cool, cool, cool. Hurry back to Colony Four. Okay, we are gonna head back to Colony Four. Right about now. In the next episode. <laughs> Man, I fucked it up. Okay, we're we're gonna go to Colony. Okay, so we're we're uh we will head to that marker over there next episode so uh yeah i mean I, I think i think next episode should be uh gameplay action or gameplay oriented okay so oh wait hold on wait 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 we got some loot all right and then for these guys i'm gonna send them off but as i'm sending them off i'm actually gonna end the video right here so right all right so i'm gonna catch you guys later then so uh see ya